Welcome to the channel, guys. <sighs> we went from freezing cold to I busted my first uh, sweat. See, it started coming out there. I'm outside working. I'll show you what I'm doing in a minute. But we got a problem in here. Let me put this saw down. I have a problem now. I kind of wondered. But I got condensation and everything got wet. Everything on that table, my saw, my laser machine, shouldn't have hurt it, but everything's wet. So that's got to come back down. I got to put up some sort of a barrier in between it or just leave it off. I mean, it, it adds it adds heat in here, keeps it, you know, a few degrees, but yeah, it's not going to work. You can actually see the condensation right there. So that ain't going to work. All right, I'm going to go back out to where I was working and show you what I got going on. All right. Took me forever to get this clip. Airplanes, trucks, whatever. All right, let me show you where I'm at. Came out here for a couple hours yesterday. As you can see, got that pile scooped up. I got two smaller piles. And what I'm doing is I'm scooping it up and I'm putting them in the gorilla cart and I'm sifting through it. To find stuff like that and then I'm like see like right here got a little bed spring or something we don't want that because what I'm doing is I'm taking it over to low spots uh, I have a big big hole over here and I'm just putting it in there yeah there's a little paint on that that ain't gonna hurt nothing I'm not growing no veggies and this is a pretty deep hole so I'm trying to get spots like that filled up because eventually I want to be able to bring my mower in here. Uh, it's going to be a lot of work because as you can see, well that's, those rocks are the trail, but we can come back here. They're just everywhere. So you can't, and now is a good time to get them loose because the ground's wet. But I was over here, I dumped some over in that corner and I may never get this to where I can mow it. But they're just, they're everywhere. That's Arkansas, man. You move here, you're going to have rocks. See, like in here. When I see them, I'm trying to kick them loose. Because now's the time to do it. And next year, more will grow up. See how tight that was. And they're not always little either. There you go. I like these ones with the moss on it. See, I try to put them in my trail. Uh, all these rocks here are so tight, they're, they're hard to get out, man. But that is solid. So I don't know if this is an old grave. It almost looks like one. Uh, with that headstone there and I never really wanted to mess with this because it's like perfectly square and it looks to me like it was a, a grave of some sorts maybe not but uh, yeah I don't know if this ever said anything you know they would just put the marker in the day and there's a lot of them like that in here and let me show you another spot well it's, this is a pile where I think they cleared they gave up. Uh, I got another spot over here. It's kind of weird. Right here. Maybe buried a pet here. But again, them dudes are solid. And it has the big stone right there. So, I don't know. Could be nothing. It sure looks like a grave. It's, that's not natural there. Somebody did that. But anyway... I've been out here for a couple hours yesterday uh, getting all this clear just about done with this I got rid of them two pallets of wood there's my burn pile right there so when it dries up we're gonna torch that up and my idea is that it catches that stump on fire burns that out of the ground this uh, I'm gonna have to cut that in pieces and uh, to get that out and you can see it's still it didn't settle all the way in so i've also been taking that dirt putting it in around here but eventually 
all that dirt will separate and I'll be able to do something with it. So I got these pallets out of here. And we'll get in here and rake all this up real nice. And I just came up with an idea. I may just extend the chicken pen in here. Uh, that's why I've been taking care of getting all this junk out of here. But you're not going to be able to grow nothing in here. And there's oil. Who knows what else in this soil. I wouldn't want to grow anything. But it wouldn't take much to extend the chicken's pen. You know. Let me see if we can get an opinion on waddles. Come here. Chick, chick. Chick, 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 chick. Uh, hello. Waddles. I hear him cackling. But I don't hear nothing else. Waddles, come here. I want, I want your opinion, son. He don't care. And I'm going to work my way here. That's an old burn barrel. Uh, piece of advice. If you're going to get buy a burn barrel, try to find an older one. Because these new 55-gallon drums are junk. You'll get one year out of them. That's it. Maybe two. And that's what that was. So I, I need to chip all this out of there, get it in the, in the trash can, get it hauled to the dumpster. I took a whole truckload yesterday and i want every bit of this out of here every bit of it a lot of that wood's no good as well and the ladders they can go somewhere else i think i'm going to put some hooks uh on the back of the building here i did look in there to see if the condensation was happening it is not that has a very vapor barrier on top but i'm gonna put some get some hooks hang my ladders on the back of this uh built oh i couldn't see if i was filming hanging on the back of the building that that gets them out of the way and if i need one i just come grab it so and those posts are going to be for a fence that i'm building if the rest of this crap is going to get burned all right let me get set up and get more to go and I'm gonna cut that out with the saw this bugs me so I'm gonna take a few minutes get these uh, standing up better make them look a little better because it drives me nuts all right let's do it Get you. Get on over there. Almost. 
there's no stuff in here. There's a bit of a hole here, so I'm going to just level that out. Nah, it looks ugly. Alright. Much better. Cheap strap. Good shot, man. All right, let me take a break. And I'll be back. All right, this is the first time since I've owned the property I can walk around this corner and not see junk. Because the junk was here when I moved here. Well, there was a lot more. We hauled a bunch off. But as you can see, it's a nice cleared area. I'll get that thing out of there. I'm going to work with it. Uh, moving it back and forth. There were some other ones bigger than that that I did that with. I was able to get the, ho the whole root system out of it. So let it dry up a little bit. And I'll keep working it back and forth. Uh, got them straightened up. Uh, I know I told people, yeah, I got some T-posts. But you know what? I need them now. I've given away too much stuff that I need now. And if times are going to get rough... I gotta keep that stuff, man. You never know. Not being stingy. But no sense in giving things away and you gotta go back out and buy them. Not gonna do it. So these will be gone soon, I hope. Got them all stacked up. Them are ugly old tires. Ugly and old. Yeah, it's nice to have this finally. And you guys, I know so many people have commented, you gotta pick that stuff up. Well, here you go. She's clean. Now, we're going to start in here. Not today. I'm whooped. Uh, just going to work my way. Even that metal. Uh, I can put that metal under the building or somewhere. Heck, actually, I don't know. That's all good metal. That's why I'm keeping it. And uh, that netting, that's still good netting. If I put another uh, bird, give them another section. See, I got that netting. But it catches sticks. And it's pretty easy to untangle. I need to get a garbage bag and put that in there so it doesn't get any further damage. But weather doesn't seem to affect this stuff much. I mean, it has to be out for a lot of years. And like I say, a lot of that wood, no good. That plywood's no good, but I'll keep it around, use it for something. But I want all of this out of here. Out of here. Because this is a nice little shady area, man. And it looks terrible. But other than this, guys... There ain't no other place on my property, really, that needs cleaned up. You guys seen when I was building this addition, the mess I had out here. But that I created. And a lot of this is left over from that. Like, that's Lulu's old door for her pen. But, uh, I don't know. Uh, the pieces of fence, of course, I'll keep them. But a lot of that wood's no longer good. Even if it's treated, it's been out here too long. I need a good proper place uh, that's a that's a good idea for this room to enclose it even more for lumber storage where Libby's old kennel is and I think that's as you can see the roof only goes so far but that's still plenty for uh, you know two by fours you just need to put something on the sides maybe some metal don't know and I gotta get rid of this doghouse I don't know if the ivies want it or not, but it's still a good doghouse. Libby sure loved it, and uh, the puppies loved it. So we'll need to get rid of that. That's a big old heavy thing. I ain't blowing away. All right. Did I not just make a video not long ago cleaning this place out? I did, but I got used up a lot of that foam. It ain't bad. There's just some big things in here for winter, like the mower. The e-bike. Straw. But once uh, all these tools and stuff are moved to the other building, because them are all full of tools, so I'm going to hang them up on pegboard. They'll be good. Uh, I, I got pegboard already for that. I'll show you what I'm going to do. All right, I got how many pieces did I get? Four pieces of pegboard. Now, what I'm going to do is the pegboard's going to be up here. 
all the way down. Uh, I may put some slats there or just, I may just nail it right to that. Have Because I said I'm going to build a little shelf out from here. So that would be fine. And then it would still have enough room behind it to put the pegs in where you can hang the tools. And then a full sheet of pegboard back here. It won't take up the whole wall because this is 10 foot wide. Those are 8 foot sheets. So you're going to have a foot on each side. And then a piece over there. And as soon as it's, it should be warm enough next week to get in here and mud. And that's why I haven't mudded this yet. Uh, it should be warm enough to get that done. And I don't think I'm going to go too crazy with tape. Uh, I'm going to tape the verticals. I may not even tape at all, guys. I mean, this is so tight. Uh, it's a shop. It's so tight. I can be able to just fill it in with a mud knife, sand her down a little bit, and don't even know if I'm going to... Who knows? But I don't think I'm going to mess... I do got the tape. It's right there. Uh, the corners, yeah. I, I probably ain't even going to mess taping them. I'm just not a taper. I don't care. And I may put paneling or something on it later. Who knows? But I'm just... Like this joint, man. I don't need to put tape on that. Now, that's good and tight. That's pretty good and tight. So that's what we're going to do there. And then I got the foam to finish up the rest of this. There is no condensation on this stuff. So we're not going to have an issue with that. If it, there was, it'd be on the floor. And I don't see any. Plus, this is, uh, it's got the wood. And in there, it does not have the uh, OSB. It, it just has the metal right above it. So that's why there's condensation. So I'm thinking if I was to push those all the way up to the metal, if it would still have condensation, I don't know. I'm not real worried about it in there. I just got to get the stuff that don't need to be wet out of there. So hoping to get out here next week by maybe by this weekend. Well, I've got, I've got some obligations for next Monday, so I won't be able to get out here then. And doctor's appointment for tomorrow. So that's off the table. But we'll get to it. And, uh, I said before I'm in no big rush on this building but it's sitting here not going to any kind of use so I got to kind of do something with it all right guys uh, just showing you what I'm doing man nothing not one of them going going someplace videos or whatever just a video all right you guys take care happy trails and thanks for subscribing yesterday we hit 12,000 I'm actually at like 1240 right now so I've got 60 like 50 subscribers just yesterday so that's cool most of them was on my egg flipping if you haven't seen my egg flipping short it's cool i made you think that i didn't succeed in flipping it because the yoke was up on one of them none of them did this that one yoke flipped them over flip them over and the whole thing came out as one egg gotta check it out thanks for watching guys happy trails Let's go see some puppies for you for, for this end. It smells like wet, stinky dog in here. Lily, wet, stinky dog. What are you guys watching? Oh, Pet Collective, of course. Look at this boy. Hey, are you responsible for it smelling like wet, stinky, yucky dog in here? Yeah. Why are you shivering? Cause I haven't petted you. Oh, they got their sh their their shows on. It's like 55, almost 60 degrees. You guys are shivering. Did you get the dogmonia? You don't have the dogmonia. What do you got to say, boy? Oh, look at this nonsense you guys watch. All right, say goodbye to everybody. We gotta go visit the rooster and the and the Tilly and the Millie and who else knows who. Okay, we'll have supper soon. Supper soon. And these lazies laying up in their dog houses after being cooped up in there for a week. I tell you what, did I make them too comfortable for you? I bet I did. Your bed ought to be here tomorrow, Millie. Your new heat of bed, but you ain't gonna need it for a while. Hopefully, you don't need it the rest of the year. But I got them. Yeah. Why don't you guys go run and play or something? Oh goodness, look at this one. 
you see all these towels guys so when it rains what I have to do is go get a towel put it in the wet chair so she can put her biscuit on it so it doesn't soak through and get her wet and then that towels there because this thing is slippery she jumped off once and she slid so that's to catch her when she jumps this dog requires a lot of stuff man a lot of stuff yeah we should just brought your stoop out here but I don't want to get your stoop muddy say goodbye to everybody